Hello everyone, and this will be a video tutorial on how I got level 7 in my HL physics. So as you can see in my diploma grade, you can see that level 7. I got like a high 6 for my paper 1, a high 6 for my paper 2, a very high 7 for my paper 3, which is the astrophysics option, and a 23 out of 24, which is near perfect for my internal assessment. So. I'm majoring in physics for university, so this is how I tackled the whole uh, course. This PDF will be uh, shown in the description box, so you guys can have a look at it in your own time. So what books did I use? Of course, I used the Tsokos, Toskos, the Cambridge book for the official guide and it, its option. I also bought the IB Oxford study guide, but not the full guide for the Oxford. I feel like Toskos is way, way superior. And Toskos is the, if I'm not wrong, the IB chief examiner for HL physics. Uh, I've demonstrated the split on paper 1s, 2s, and 3s, and a clear distinction between different past papers. Read this in your own time. And I've demonstrated what I do in class, what I do at home after a physics lesson in school, All right, because I'm not the smartest, so I have to recap over and over and over again, which practice papers to use, how I prepare for my school's topic test. Of course, your school will have your own topic test too, and it's going to be similar to all schools worldwide its main purpose is to prepare you for the final exam right of course and which stuff to do and question bank which ones to do and how I prepare for your end of year or your trial exam most of the times end of year or trial exam is going to be your latest paper so uh, and you can't really get that paper online right because it's just been sat so there's treat it as it's in a real time conditions and how I prepare for my final IB diploma exams. Go have a read at it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below or message me on Facebook or YouTube. Up to you. And how I nearly ace the astrophysics option, which is actually doable because astrophysics option, the test is so similar, the question types, to the actual. Um, option book by its cause it's only 40 pages long and i read it over and over and over again did all the test yourself questions did all the end of chapter questions did all the astro pass papers it's really really doable to ace that option and finally your internal assessment topic thank you for watching guys and to pick an i topic pick something that's easy and simple and just expand on the analysis and your mathematical there's two types of analysis there's mathematical analysis which is on the data itself and and the easy marks such as propagation of uncertainty the rmse values the different curves the different fits justification the error bars that's one side of analysis the other side is the justification so the physics behind it so that's a bit hard you have to do your own research but when you have a good physics, a good question, right? How does X affect Y? And how does, yeah, like how, basically, how does a change in an IV affect something in DV? If you have a good question, everything else comes easy and natural. Right? Evaluation is very easy. Most important thing to do for evaluation, just be careful on the, mention both quantitative and qualitative, right? Both how you can eliminate the errors and you can do a table graph keep it to 12 pages appendix can be more than that and yeah hopefully this has helped you